Howdy folks. Some days you get given a nice slice of cake. Other days you get given a turd sandwich. <laughs> Today on the workshop bench, uh, on the bench workshop. <laughs> oh man. We have a PV Classic 50 and the filter caps are shot, of course. And it's a pain in the backside to get out because all the solder joints are underneath. Now, I thought, well, I'm not going to go into it actually. I thought a lot of things. But anyway, first of all, this amp needs a damn good clean out. It is filthy, it is dusty, it is covered in cat fur and what looks like grease. This amp is greasy. But I've undone all of the uh, all of the, the nuts on here holding the pots in place. Every single one of them. <sighs> Just to get this PCB out. Except the PCB is still stuck in there. Why? Because there are screws underneath. I'm going to replace these five filter caps. 47 UFs. Now these are 450 volt. I'm going to change them to 500 volt because PV has done a naughty thing. The voltage coming out into these is higher than 450 volts. These caps didn't have a chance. Thanks PV, nice work. There's another reason why I don't buy your stuff anymore. And if you're watching, excellent, subscribe to the videos so I can show you what good amps look like. And I got these couple of filter caps over here that I'm just going to change for shits and giggles. There's probably nothing wrong with them, but they're worth about two bucks each. The struggle is real. So I finally got the board out. It's out. Next step that I've discharged these so they're safe to touch. Next step, desolder them, rip them out, put new ones in, test things, rebias the amp if I have to. If you can't tell, I love this amplifier. Stay tuned for more. Handy tip for you home players, once you have finished de-charging these capacitors, they're probably glued onto the board, as you can see here. Sorry for the camera work, uh, handheld here. So rather than trying to unsolder them, and trying to pull them off and yank them and fight them, snip the ends. Just snip them. Snip them off the board, they're useless anyway. And so then you'll have posts sticking out. Okay, and just get in there with a the soldering iron on the other side, the opposite side, and a pair of tweezers or, or some sort of, you know, side cutter pliers, and uh, put the soldering iron on the opposite side of this board and pull pins out. It's that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one here, and replace these 450 microfarad uh, capacitors with, um, with brand new ones, and then I'm going to go over here and do these ones separately. Okay, so handy little tip. Don't be afraid to snip the ends off, but don't do it until you have decharged the caps, discharge the caps, and then get your multimeter out and put them on either side of the terminals and measure the voltage. These have like 0 0.014 volts left in them. Nothing, basically. They're flat. Okay? So, handy tip. Do that first before you touch them. Or you will receive a fatal shock. And when I say fatal, it is it is death. Okay, no maybes. It's fucking hazardous. Stay tuned. Oh, and one more tip. If, like this capacitor, it's glued to death because they love glue so much, uh, you know, you don't need a drop. But anyway, there's about half a gallon in here for you Americans. That's about two litres in Australia. Um, get a, get a knife, a sharp knife, careful you don't cut yourself, and run it along the plastic cover of the capacitor, and then you can pull the capacitor out safely, that's what they look like without the little pretty plastic on it, and then you can just get in here and peel this off the glue, and then take the pins off, and eventually you'll get a working amplifier. New filter caps are installed. 
So then we've got the right components now, 47 microfarad, 500 volts, each one, each three of these. Uh, that's ground in the center, so these caps, positive is on this side, these caps, positive is on the right hand side, the other side. Make sure you orientate them the right way because what will happen is you'll get a nasty little explosion when you go to turn this amp on. Now it's these guys' turn, I'm going to change these two, put this amp back together and smoke it! Alright, new caps are back in, chassis back in, everything's back in. Look, I haven't gone around to replacing these and uh, the reality is I don't know when those pots are going to arrive because they are a odd size. However, I just wanted to show you with the amp on, so power's on, it's on standby, I haven't flicked the high voltage over yet. The tubes are all glowing, uh, preamp tubes are all glowing. So next thing to do is flick the standby switch and uh, see if it all goes up in smoke, which it won't because the caps are brand new and it should be fine. And uh, give it a little play, make sure it's all working fine and make sure the volume's all the way down when I do it to start with because this thing has Eminence Red Coat Tonkers 212s. There's a lot of speaker in this cabinet. So uh, I'm just going to put the camera down, give it a try and see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching and subscribe, like, share, tell your mates, comment below if you have any questions and see you guys next time.